hi guys welcome back to my channel today i have a diy that i wanted to share with you guys okay basically this diy you're gonna need um some clothes i don't know how many you're gonna need but i picked up three packages three packs of these and i already have one that i already had used so this is extra Let's get this out of the way. You're gonna need one of these wreaths, metal wreath. Also one of these adorable welcome sign. You're going to need one of these embossing tools and some paint brushes. And of course, some paints. And I got one of these cute little, you know, little, I could say, I don't know, to hold some, you know, when you start painting the clothes pins. So, you know, I don't want to mess up my nails. So I have one of these. Everything is from the Dollar Tree except these apple barrel these are the gloss acrylic paints so this is from walmart these two and this one is from target the satin acrylic paint and basically everything else is from the other tree even these on um, this paint here these are about i don't know how many ounces these Oh, eight ounces. This is a good deal. This is from Dollar Tree. But um, I wanted it. At first, I had bought these, this color. But then I was like, it looks kind of dark. So, you know, I want to, you know, lighten up the wreath. So, I saw these at Walmart and I picked these up. And this one, if you're interested, this one is bright green. And I believe I picked up another one. I gotta look for it just in case. And um, these are, I think they're 59 cents at Walmart. And this one, it's from Target. I think this was like two dollars, something like that, or three. So that's all you need. So what I'm gonna do, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go step by step. And the first thing that we're going to start off is getting the clothespins ready. And we're going to start painting them. So we're going to see how many packs we need to fill the whole wreath. Okay, guys. So we're going to start painting. So this is what I did. So I'm going to start. Paint this up. I'm not gonna show you everything because I know it's gonna be too much to show you guys. So I'm gonna just show you the first two. So oh let me get a paper plate. I put my paints here. So I'm gonna go with this one with the bright green. Let me shake it first. This color is so pretty and so bright. Okay, so let's start off this little tip here i'm going towards the edge right there let me try to get a close-up let me dry out my paintbrush Okay, let me 
go towards the edge so I'm doing this little project for my mom because she loves her little frogs um the cookie from Puerto Rico she loves it every time I see one I always get her one so it's just basically just painting the clothes pins I want to bore you guys with me painting all of them I don't know really how much I'm going to use I think one pack is going to be enough hopefully and they also have the cute little bee I'll probably get it and do one for myself and um, they got the frog and I believe they also have butterflies It's so beautiful outside. Everyone's outside. See, I don't like these paint brushes because they leave like the bristles. They fall off and then they get stuck. Where whatever you paint in. I'm gonna change this paintbrush. I don't like this one. I don't know if I should go over the silver there. I'm not sure if I am, depending how it looks. So basically, this is it, guys. I'm gonna, of course, I gotta paint this part here. Okay, just make it quick. Okay, let me finish this off so you guys can see. And if the paint is thick, you guys can always water it down. So this is how it's gonna show. But um, once it dries, I'm gonna have to go inside and paint in the inside. So I'm just gonna lay it down on the wax paper that I have here, I have it right here, and I'm gonna continue um, painting the rest of the clothes pins, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, I just wanted to share with you guys. I learned a way to um, paint them instead of doing them individual. Uh, what I did was I put. Um, well, I'm already done with this. This is before I found out. I'm gonna put all the clothes pins around the wreath metal, the metal ring, I mean. And then I'm gonna start painting them and letting them dry on their own. So each section needs 14 clothes pins. I wanted to let you know, cause I already figured it out. So that's how it looks so far. That's how it looks. So I'll continue painting. I'm so glad that I didn't use this one because this one is pretty dark and it wouldn't pop as this one. I love this bright green. It's like a line. It's so pretty. So I'll continue and I'll get back to you guys because I don't want to, you know, continue showing you the little over and over the same process okay guys so i'm gonna just show you what i came up with and it's so much easier so 
let's pop these off. Okay, so. I'm gonna just pop the name of my water bottle. I'm gonna just pop them there. It doesn't matter how they go because you are gonna paint them and it's gonna be so much easier than the way I was painting them. So I'm gonna show you how it's gonna be done. And you could just let them dry on their own. Okay, so get my paintbrush. Okay. And start painting. You move those to the side. So this is how I do it. And I go twice painting the clothespins. I go two times. Okay, so let me show you again. So much better this way. And you don't got to worry about taking them and placing them down, and, you know, getting smudged with your fingers. see your little mistakes and just repaint it again see how pretty So yeah guys, this is how it looks already. So I just wanted to show you, this is the way I'm gonna start painting them on the metal wreath. So it's way easier. Okay, just wanted to share and show you guys that that's how I place them and I'm gonna start painting them. Okay, this is how it turned out. So I already placed them where I wanted them. But um, I'm going to have to retake them off the metal wreath because I'm going to start adding some little dots on them because it, lo it looks kind of plain. So I want to add like a little brightness so it could pop more. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys. You, could, you have two different designs that you could place on your metal wreath if you decide to make one. You could have this one or you could have one that's i'm gonna show you because um i'm gonna explain to you anyway so that's how it looks guys so each sections take 14 clothes pins so that's about um two i believe it's two packs and a half if i'm not mistaken but i'm gonna make sure i'll tell you at the end of the video 
So these are all the clothespins. We go back a little. Guys, these are all of them. So I'm gonna start adding the polka dots to them. So you remember guys, you're gonna need an embossing tool. This is an embossing tool. It has a small tip there and also a large there. So I'm gonna use the large one. how I use it the little tool I just go one that there Let's see another dot here there go here and here that's all guys that's all you do okay guys this is how it looks i did all the polka dots on the clothespin as you see there it was fun there you go okay guys this is how it came out i love it i love the way everything turned out um i love the cute little polka dots it makes the clothes pin pop more so this is the design i chose to place the clothes pins just so pretty and so summery it's just perfect. I'm in love with this. Okay, so at the end of the video, I'm going to tell you guys how many clothespins I use. And also, I'm going to start adding a welcome sign, which is this cutie right here. And I'm also going to add one of these cute little flowers here. And I think it, it pops with the yellow. I was thinking of going more towards like, um, it was like a flower. It was kind of like a mint. But I don't know. I just like the way the yellow would look better. I didn't want everything to be the same color. So let me finish this up. I might decide to do something with the welcome sign because it looks kind of plain. I might add some dots on it depending so i'll be back guys i'm just doing little dots randomly everywhere the whole big thing Okay. Mm, that is so cool. Yeah, and, and I, I love that. And I, you, there's two sides. A thin one, right? Uh huh. To make them smaller. Uh -huh. You're gonna do small ones? Ah, uh, I'll see. That is so cute. I love that. I didn't know what I was doing with this too. That's why if I see like That's different things. Uh-huh. That's mad cute. Mm -hmm. That's like how they decorate nails and stuff, right? Probably, right? Mm -hmm. That is so pretty. Now it really pops. Mm-hmm. Me too. So I'm gonna use the small little circle here to see how it looks, cause my daughter gave me an idea. So let's try it out, guys. Oops. My tripod just moved, cause I'm right behind it. Okay, let me see if I can go a little. And, okay. And I already made a little smudge there, but no big. Thing. 
Yeah, it looks cute, the little dots also. Okay, I gotta clean that one out as it looks a little off. No special way, just have fun and play with your little project. Should I cut this tag before I start it? Okay, I'm about finished. Let me just put one more. What should I put it at? Put it here. This is so much fun. I just want to keep going with it. You know, guys, I was thinking of, I should have paint, if you're making this style, I would suggest you paint the whole metal here, the welcome metal, in white, because it'll pop more than the green. And I was thinking about it now, and I could have done that, and instead of the little white polka dots, I would have put yellow polka dots. That will happen so much better.